Welcome to Dentsply's Service Centre Tutorials. Today I'm going to discuss how to synchronise the wireless foot switch that's supplied with the Cavitron Jet Plus unit and Jet Plus with Tapon technology, which we have here. Um, the reasons for synchronising the foot switch may be if the unit has gone back for repair at any stage and the foot switch was not supplied um, back to us for the repair, we would have had to synchronise it with our own foot switches here. So when you got the unit back, you would experience this problem. If you turn the unit on, wait for it to go through its power up cycle, okay, and then activate the foot switch, no response from the machine at all. This is because the wireless link is not established between the foot switch and the base unit. It's quite a simple operation. You first of all have to remove the battery cover from the base of the foot switch. Okay, you undo the screw and remove the battery door. And here you can see the two batteries that power the wireless foot switch and the communication synchronization button. Okay, pressing that, as a battery check, you can see a small LED flashes on and off to show that the foot switch is active. The actual synchronization process first of all involves turning off the machine and letting it power down until the power light is extinguished, turning the unit on and immediately pressing and releasing the purge button. And you'll see that the lights on the display dance around as you can see here. Now, to actually synchronise the foot switch, you have to do it rather quickly. You only have about six seconds to actually synchronise the foot switch to the base unit. So I'll start again for you. Turn it off and let the unit power down. Turn the unit on, press and release the purge button, and as quickly as possible, press and release the little button in the foot switch. You now see the lights all flash on and off together and then are extinguished. Now the wireless communication is complete with the unit. As you can see here, if I push the foot switch down into boost mode, you get the boost light to come on. Replacing the battery door, it's important to make sure that this met the metal tag that points out on the bottom of the battery door locates with the locating slot to hold the batteries in, or else you may get problems with poor battery connection. So make sure it's hooked in place, as you can see there. Replace the small screw, and do it up hand tight. And that's it, communication is now established and the machine is ready for use.